Greetings, fellow Ambazonians. Christmas is around the corner. Within a couple of days, I am Capo Daniel, the chairman of the Ambazonian People's Right Advocative Platform. For over seven years, we have been fighting so hard to defend our villages, our communities from Cameroon arson attack and vicious war to crack down on our people's fight for self-determination. Along this fight, we have made mistakes. We have had excesses on our side. This war was brought to us by the poor Bias regime in Yaoundé. Their brutal crackdown against our lawyers, our teachers and civil society who were simply demanding what any civil society would demand in the 21st century, but were met with helicopter gunships Innocent civilians, students were tortured, villages burnt down, and our boys acted rightfully with their right of self-determination to pick up arms. Along the way, we have made mistakes. A lot of water have gone under the bridge. But our right for self-determination is something that is uncompromising. We cannot compromise on our right of self-determination to give our people the dignity to choose for themselves, their future. That is why we as a people, we have decided to suspend, to deny political concern for any Cameroon shape of governance within our territory. This war is a very tough thing. At the time of war, if you look back in history, during the Second World War, German soldiers crossed trenches and met their American enemies who were fighting and hunting them down to kill them. Both sides during Christmas period dropped down their weapons and celebrated Christmas in the battlefields across Europe. They embraced each other, they sang Christmas carol, and it inspired their leaders to think of a better way forward and today, the Germans and the Americans are strong allies working together in the alliance of NATO and in many other projects globally. Today in Ambazonia, I have had a meeting with my consultants, my advisors, and the network of my organization. We have proposed a ceasefire, a Christmas ceasefire, and I have extended to the Cameroon government the proposition of a Christmas ceasefire for the Cameroon government to cease all its operations and commit not to carry out any targeted killing of any Ambazonian fighters or raid within our communities on Christmas Day. It is within a very short notice. I do not expect to have a response from the Cameroon government, but I have extended this proposal of a Christmas Day ceasefire to the Cameroon government and I am proposing it to all the Ambazonian various factions to consider a Christmas Day ceasefire. Christmas Day is a religious celebration that is celebrated across cultures, across religion globally, and it has been one of the biggest cultural, religious celebration within our territory. During these days, some Ambazonian groups have called for lockdown or ghost town. I have proposed a Christmas Day ceasefire where Ambazonian fighters, if the Cameroon government will reciprocate, the Ambazonian fighters for one day can seize all attack operations against the Cameroon Armed Forces if the Cameroon government will reciprocate. We do not expect that the Cameroon government will reciprocate. We do not expect any proper consideration from the other Ambazonian factions because of the short timing of this proposition that was made by my organization. But I want to inform our population that we have considered and contemplated on this proposition and I have proposed to the Cameroon government to consider 
a Christmas day cease fire. Why we do not have any expectation of a Christmas day cease fire? I want to just call on all Ambazonia to use Christmas day as a day of prayer and appeal to all Ambazonian fighters not to interfere with any religious activity or people who go to church to worship God or to commemorate this Christmas day. Christmas day and the whole Christmas period is very important for our economy. The United Nations global financial institution have predicted huge financial problems and famine in our territory for next year. And I appeal to all Ambazonian fighters that Christmas and this December is the most important commercial period in our territory and nobody should interfere with the economic activity for any reason that will not benefit our people. We will continue to have different voices, contradictory messages, but the vast majority of our people wants our leaders to be settled-minded and be rational in their thinking. We must not inflict any more pain on our people than is needed. They have suffered enough. We must approach this war with prudence and respect for human sanctity and hold ourselves to a higher standard of account than the enemy. We must continue to appeal to the conscience of the world an appeal to the good Cameroonians to continue to call for the end of this war that Paul Bia had declared upon us. Our people deserve dignity. They deserve the right of self-determination to end this war. As we look upon Christmas Day, Ambazonians in the diaspora, together with their family, will be attending church services, will be celebrating dinner, in America, they will be eating turkey. Our people in ground zero, they deserve on this day at least to have their own space, to be free to do what they want on a day, a simple day, that people have received miracles. And my dream is that just like the German soldiers abandoned their trenches and their American enemies, abandon their trenches. Two harsh enemies cross over their trenches and celebrated Christmas together that somehow the people of our land will receive the Christmas miracle that is often talked about during this period. We didn't want this war and we pray for the day this war will come to an end for human sanctity, for our safety of our people prosperity and freedom to return back to our homeland and our prisoners released and the end of Cameroon oppression and subjugation should end. The Cameroon government should understand that the identity of our people, our sovereignty, our territorial integrity, our fundamental human rights must be respected. They will be respected eventually why not do it sooner than later and stop this unnecessary war that put blacks against blacks thank you all god bless you and i wish you all a merry christmas in advance